Greetings, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant, and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. On March 15th, Kyungi Province and the Anti-Corruption and Civil Rights Commission of Korea signed a cooperation agreement to protect individuals who report unlawful deeds, including corruption, from retaliation. This past January, Kyungi Province opened a public hotline for reporting illegal activities, such as fraudulent industry practices and environmental contamination, as well as unfair or corrupt actions by public officials. However, members of the public often avoid reporting such cases for fear of retaliation. To eliminate such fear and protect whistleblowers, Kyungi Province sought the cooperation of the Anti-Corruption and Civil Rights Commission of Korea through this agreement. This agreement specifies detailed measures including the physical protection of individuals who report possible crimes, education for officials, and the punishment of those officials who engage in unlawful activities, as well as the utilization of safe reporting methods. Kyungi Province also seeks to remove the upper limit on rewards for reporting crime. Specifically, individuals who report unlawful activities will be paid 30% of the revenue increase or up to 200 million Korean won as a reward. The Assistance Dog Share Center of Kyungi Province recently found a new home for its 1,000th abandoned and retrained canine, Bambi. Bambi, a round-eyed shih tzu that loves to play, began a second life in a new home. This little dog follows family members wherever they go. After arriving, the life of Bambi's new family has also changed and brightened. 아들만 셋인데 뭐 맨날 와면은 각자 방에 들어가기 바빴는데 그래도 밤비가 있으니까 그래도 거실로 다 무조건 나오게끔 되고 그러니까 이런 가족적인 그런 화합 그리고 대화할 수 있는 기회를 Since 2013, the Kyungi Assistance Dog Share Center has been training abandoned dogs and finding them new homes. Bambi was the 1,000th such dog. Since this program began, the number of dogs homed by the center has been increasing by 20% annually. 기본적으로 앉아 엎드려 기다려라는 복종 훈련을 일단 하게 되고요. 그리고 어 사회성 강화라든지 입양 가기 전에는 중성화 수술도 하고 동물 등록용 마이크로칩도 시술하게 되고요. Only 30% of abandoned dogs are lucky enough to find new homes. Last year alone, an estimated 120,000 dogs were abandoned by their owners in Korea. Kyungi Province has launched the Peace Policy Advisory Committee, the first of its kind among the second-tier governments of Korea, to advise the provincial government on inter-Korean peace and cooperation policies. Reporting directly to the provincial governor, this committee, chaired jointly by the Kyungi Province Vice Governor for Peace, and a former Minister of Unification will provide the provincial government with advice on existing inter-Korean exchange and cooperation projects as well as future policies. Consisting of 32 members from diverse related fields, including a National Assembly member representing Paju City, a Unification Research Institute professor, and a North Korean Studies Association director, this committee held its first meeting on the day of its launch. DMG 관광에 관심 있는 위원님들은 그런 부분들을 좀 집중해서 좀그 사업도 같이 하시고 이렇게 한발한발 같이 나가 주시면. This committee will meet on a quarterly basis while performing any necessary preliminary surveys and studies. It will play a key role in provincial inter-Korean peace policies, including special unification, economic zone, development. Kyungi Province was selected to be the host of the new Graduate School of Artificial Intelligence to be established by the Korean Ministry of Science and ICT. This graduate school will be located 
on the Suwon campus of Sungyung Wan University. The market for artificial intelligence, commonly known as AI, in Korea is growing rapidly. The size of the Korean AI market is expected to reach 11 trillion Korean won by the year 2020. However, there is a serious deficiency in the supply of artificial intelligence specialists due to a lack of related education courses and facilities. This national school will be located on the Natural Science Campus of Sungyungwan University in Suwon City. For the establishment and management of this school, Gyeonggi Province and Sungyungwan University signed a cooperation agreement. 그 연구 성과들이 좀 많이 나기를 바라고 그 연구 성과가 또 기업 활동으로 경제 활동으로 연결돼서 많은 사람들이 힘들어하는 일자리 문제 좀잘 해결됐으면 좋겠습니다. 저희도 열심히 지원하도록 하겠고. According to this agreement, Gyeonggi Province will provide the school with management cost support and promote the industrial application of AI technologies developed by the school. With facilities for a 30-member faculty, the school will open from the second semester with 60 students this year. The school will also engage in more than 30 joint academia industry projects. 경기도와 산학 또 성균관대학교 협력하는 이런 AI 대학원의 협력 모델이 진정한 산학 협 관의 협력인 모델로 우리가 지역 사회와 상생하면서 발전하기를 기대하고 있습니다. This graduate school will produce much needed AI specialists while contributing to the competitiveness of the domestic AI industry. The current Gyeonggi Provincial Administration has been accepting administrative ideas from residents and recently announced the selection of 14 such ideas for adoption and implementation. This traditional market in Suwon City features automated defibrillators for public use. The installation of defibrillators in traditional markets was realized through a suggestion made by residents who felt the need for such equipment in traditional markets, which feature large numbers of older merchants and shoppers. 지대 동기가 절대 필요한 시장이고요. 그리고 또 이런 게 설치되어 있음으로써 또 체험도 할수 있는 거기 때문에 저희한테는 아주 중요한 시설입니다. Another resident idea to be adopted by Gyeonggi Province is the introduction of an online application system for temporary employment by Gyeonggi Province. This system will enhance applicant convenience in terms of time and transportation. 근데 이런 기회를 사실은 자주 준다고 하면은 이 생활 속에 많은 불편함을 느끼는 국민들이 도민들이 공모를 통해서 의견을 제시하고 아마 도정에 굉장히 많은 도움이 될 거라고 저는 생각을 합니다. Gyeonggi Province continues to adopt resident ideas for policy development. Through the first review, 14 ideas were selected for implementation this year. Other ideas proposed by residents include lowering the age limit for reporting crime, the utilization of throwing type fire extinguishers for use by individuals of limited mobility, and the installation of fire boxes with wet masks and other safety equipment at the Gyeonggi Arts Center. Anyone with good administrative ideas that can be applied in the everyday lives of residents can submit their ideas via the Voice of Kyunggi website and public petition. To help the Sanyong Motor Company, which experienced a financial crisis 10 years ago and has been struggling ever since, Kyunggi Province decided to place priority on the purchase of vehicles from this company. All 27 of the vehicles parked in front of this Gyeonggi Provincial Government building are Sanyong vehicles. These vehicles, which cost 914 million Korean won in total, were purchased by Gyeonggi Province for 11 provincial offices. Of 50 vehicles to be purchased this year, Gyeonggi Province purchased 27 from Sanyong to aid the company's revival. Sanyong Saga. 정말로 하나 되어서 소통하고 타협하고 협력하는 그런 대한민국의 가장 모범적인 노선 관계 모델을 좀 보일 수가 하나 있는. The number of Sanyong vehicles owned by Gyeonggi Province has now increased from 59 to 86. Gyeonggi Province will also recommend Sanyong vehicles to local governments and provincial organizations. 경기도의 우선 구매가 쌍유자동차 판매 시장에 불씨가 되어 쌍용자동차와 
경기도가 진보된 새로운 협력관계를 구축하여 경기도의 발전에 쌍유자동차가 초석이 될수 있도록 These new Sanyong vehicles will also be used for free weekend rental by residents under the Happy Car Share program. 행복 카쉐어 차량으로 활용되는 만큼 저희 쌍용자동차도 지역사회에 보답하는 마음으로 지역경제 활성화를 위해서 더욱더 노력을 하겠습니다. In addition to purchasing Sanyong vehicles, Gyeonggi Province has been active in assisting the Sanyong Motor Company with its revival efforts through various channels, including the central government. Gyeonggi Province, home to a quarter of the two million strong multicultural population in Korea, has been providing children in multicultural families with Korean language textbook support. To date, approximately 2,000 children have received these textbooks free of charge for use during classes with visiting teachers. Kim, an immigrant mother from Vietnam, greets the teacher who has been visiting her home to teach Korean language to her son for the past one year. This teacher comes once a week. Gyeonggi Province's free Korean language textbook support has been provided to children 4 to 10 years of age in multicultural families since 2009. These children can also receive one-on-one -on -one Korean language lessons from visiting teachers. This Korean language education support aids multicultural families greatly. 언어와 문화의 차이로 어려움을 겪고 계시는 다문화 가정 학부모님들의 고민을 해결해 드리고 또 자녀들의 학습 능력 향상에 도움을 주기 위해서 There are approximately 53,000 children in multicultural families accounting for a quarter of the national total of which more than 2,000 are receiving Korean language education support from Gyeonggi Province. Those wishing to apply for Korean language education by visiting teachers can submit their applications via local government websites or to the Multicultural Family Support Center. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.